Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see assign static public IP address to Azure VM. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and if I go to my VM that I've created. Alright, so public IP address, you see that I have a public IP address associated with the VM. You click on it. You see that it is dynamic. Okay, so if you, let's say this VM is stopped, let me just start this VM. So let's say this VM was in start state and if I have to stop it, deallocate it, or if I reboot it, I may, uh, you know, lost this public IP address. So I want to make sure that my public IP address does not change and it should remain same. So to make that static, I will have to go you see that earlier it was showing the public IP name, the, uh, the name of my public IP, but now it is actually showing the IP address, right? So let me make a note of it. Okay. And let's say if I stop this VM, it, they said, do you want to reserve the public IP address? Do you want to stop this? And if I the public IP address will be lost if this VM is stopped. Okay, so I click on OK. I don't, let's say I forgot to save it. So it will stop this VM. And next time if I'll start this VM, my public IP address would change. So to overcome that problem, we configure our public IP address to be static so that we do not lose it. Ideally, we should not have public IP addresses associated to our workloads until it is very necessary or you should provision security measures to save your VMs from any attacks through the internet or through hackers. So let this VM get stopped and if I'll start this VM again and show you and how the IP address would change from the backend. Okay, my VM is stopped. Let me start it again. It will start and hopefully we'll see a different public IP address. Okay, you see that I've got a different public IP address. All right, so now before stopping this VM again, I'm going to save, I'm going to configure the public IP address to be static. Do this. Saving the public IP address. Refresh. I'll make a note of it and I'll stop it again. Maybe I should have rebooted it. Doesn't make, doesn't make a difference. Let's wait and I'll come back. Okay, let me start it again. And it will take few seconds. I've started and stopped this machine quite a few times now. My VM is started and I have the same public IP address. Okay. That is how you create to set your public IP address of the Azure VM as static. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.